Yo, Valley, yo, Valley. We changed the game that will never be the same. Yo, Valley, yo, Valley. Pick up your chest, represent the West. You're the boss. Thought you said you said on ITV the other day you were the boss. Well, I am the boss on the farming side, but you're managing this bit. So hopefully get all this barley finished today. That'd be good, wouldn't it? What, when you're not opening supermarkets and going on Celebrity Love Island? <laughs> I don't do Love Island. The other half doesn't like it. All right, what is it, then? I'm a celeb. I'd love to see you in Australia. Well, that's probably the worst thing, actually. I think that's what I'd be most scared about, is actually leaving. Well, you just don't want to go to Australia? Yeah. They come here. <laughs> I'll do it. I'm a celebrity and I'm in Chipping Norton, where I live. <laughs> What's the and Anne? Indian restaurant. The, don't tell me you've never been to an Indian restaurant. I haven't. Well, there are restaurants where you can get curry. Yeah. Uh, you know, he described his baby the other day as foreign. He was born in Oxford. I was born in Chipping Norton as well as all my family. My son is born in Oxford. He's foreign. <laughs> Good job you're wearing a safety helmet. <laughs> Good job you're a snowflake. Or are you Gen X? What are you? What do you mean, what am I? Were you born in the 20th century? You were, weren't you? No. 1998. What? That's... 20th century is the 20... Like, 2000 onwards, isn't it? No, we're in the 21st century now. Are we? Did you repair that? <laughs> it wasn't me. Can you be looking at you? That was you, wasn't it? <laughs> That's fucking appalling. Look at it. I'll agree with you, it's not aesthetically pleasing. So I hold the fence up with two arms, and then with my other arm, I pick up that new post and then measure it with my other arm. Yeah, it's not hard. What? Hold the fence, ready? <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, fucking hell! Can we ring Lisa for a bag of peas? No. They're building a railway that goes from London to Liverpool or Manchester or somewhere about 12 minutes faster. It's costing billions of pounds and it's using every bit of concrete in Britain. I mean, who needs a railway? Well, I've never been on a train, so I don't need a railway. What? I've never been on a train. Never. That's not possible. Prove it. How, how no, but no, no. I could, I, 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 have you lived me? Have you been me? No. I don't know how I feel about you walking with a stick. I like it. It makes me look like a f I'm starting to feel farmish. You know, I'm starting to understand little things about the countryside now. That's the problem, though. You only understand little things. They don't look surprised or frightened or intimidated in any way when you approach. They just stare. Look at Pepper over on the left there. They just stare. They're like six-year-old kids when you walk into a classroom. They're not frightened. They're, they're exactly that. <laughs> that's there. That's Caleb's cow Ready? impression. Here we go. Come on. Like working with Gandalf. <laughs> Come on. That sound sounds like a balloon, and I'm terrified of balloons. Terrified? Oh, massive fear. You have no idea. Wouldn't I wouldn't go in a room with a balloon there. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Shit scared. Like, don't tell anyone that. It's weird to think that I used to play with all these kids when I was in school. They used yeah. to be the team above us. <laughs> Have you got a picture of you playing? I do. I had long hair then. Another hairstyle? Yeah. You're quite pudgy. What do you mean, pudgy? Porky. Fuck. You on your phone? No. You fucked up big time now. Fucking hell. It's all right, I did that one as well. I'm such a Muppet. Every time. I know, I know, I know. I know what you're going to say as well. You missed a bit. Well, I didn't miss I'm really a bit. sorry, Caleb. This is not a bit. This is. Yeah, but I didn't miss it, though. Well. No, honestly, I did not miss it. It was odd that we'd been invited to the British Farming Awards in Birmingham to receive a gong. Naturally, Caleb said he needed a new haircut for the occasion. So, go on, just talk me through your hair. What, what style would you call, call that? 
Um, I mean, what did you say to the barber? Can I have tram lines? And she knew exactly what I meant. All right, tram lines, but then the bit on the top. That's a perm still. Oh, there you go. Drop me off over there. Where? Just by the red carpet. I'm not dropping you by the red carpet. Why? I'm not dropping no, you. Just over there. I am not your chauffeur. It's my award. It's not your award. It is. Please, just, just, just there. Oh, for God's sake. Thank you. All right? Thank you. I, you owe me one for this. Go and park the car. How are you doing? Make sure it's close. Shut up. My lips are really... I need some, like, Vaseline. I've got some nipple balm. It's really good for your lips. Can I borrow some of your nipple balm? Yes, you can. You've changed. I am good, ain't I? She is a violent one, that one. We need a name for her. Genghis Khan. Is that the, is that the flip flap person? The Who? flip flop, sorry. The flip, Genghis flip flop. Genghis flip. I, I remember hearing about him at a young farmer's party. Gandhi's flip flop. Yeah. <laughs> Gandhi and Genghis Khan are not the same thing. Well, uh, what's the difference then? Well, Gandhi was a peace loving Indian from the 20th century who achieved independence for India. Yeah. Genghis Khan murdered and raped millions of people. He seemed like a twat. This is cool. The cows love this. We had them on our old farm. They proper get into it. Do you ever, you ever use one? Oh, what have I done? The... They go underneath it, yeah? Oh. That's good. Apparently, eating half a cow is the same environmental impact as one person flying to Australia. So it's not really... They're not really... No. How many people fly to Australia a day? Oh. Well, Novak Djokovic. Tennis. That lady, a girl. <sighs> Jeremy, are you doing Midland style? I'm doing a Brazilian, unless I get it wrong, in which case it's a Hollywood. You don't know what I'm talking about, do you? Do you not know what a Brazilian is? I've never seen a Brazilian person. I suggest you stop. Why? It's not very straight. You said to me I want a dead straight line, Caleb, to, from that gateway to the new gate that will be over there. I you. agree. My first one was a disaster. So which, which one is it? This one. It's fucking awful. The little tractor at the top, remember? No. I've never used this drill. You have? Well, you, haven't. you did drilled some wheat and then fucked up on that. And you drilled dead man. Yes. Have you seen the cock up in there? Well, I have walked it. Oh. You stick with writing. Let me do this. No, because there's no tram lines. You don't need tram lines for this, which is why I'm doing it. It's very low input, yeah. Push that up, and then see where it says markers? Yeah. Pull that down. I want the marker out this yes. way. Out you go. Oh, shit. No, 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 no stop. Bring that back in. Free train, baby, what you want? Free train. What a banger. Obviously, I'm a fraud here. I'm, of course I am. I'm not a farmer. I'm a trainee farmer at best. Two years. Stop nodding. I couldn't have done it without him. Ladies and gentlemen, Caleb Cooper! I've won an award! <laughs>